Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I appreciate all the love that I got from my last video and you guys coming up and saying, you know, what you purchased and what you liked. And today's video is going to be all about the base. Today I'm going to be talking about foundation and concealer and color corrector. I'm also going to show you how I apply my foundation. Now this might not be the best way to apply it all the time for different skin types, but I want to show you guys some options. So let's go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and took my makeup off and now I'm going to show you how I apply it. So as you can tell, I look very different without my foundation on and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first and most important thing whenever you're thinking about putting on foundation is the tools that you're going to use. I love using this e.l.f. double ended tool to be able to um, stipple on my foundation. I also like to use the beauty blender, but they're $20 a piece. So my next um, go-to is the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams. This one is amazing. It is about maybe five or six dollars and it does the trick. After I have prepped my face, I will go in with my foundation. A lot of people will go in with their concealers first, and that's totally fine. It really depends on what you're going for. I really like a bright under eye, and a lot of people like to be able to conceal first um, any bags or anything, and then um, go in with their foundation. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it and maybe give you some tips along the way. Um, but I wanted to share with you a couple of things things that I use as an oily skin girl. I use the Wet n Wild foundation. It is $5. It to me is just like the SA Lauder double wear. I, that is my holy grail. I cannot live without it. But when I met her sister, I bought it. And so I use this and I'm going to show you how I apply it. Now, if you are more mature skin, this is amazing. I actually love using this in the summertime because it does give you a nice dewy skin, but anything that says hyaluronic acid in it is going to give you hydration in your skin, which a lot of women with mature skin need. So if you have not tried this, um, I highly recommend that you get this. Some other great foundations to use would be um, the NARS Soft Matte. This is wonderful if you want um, full coverage, but you want it to be a softer matte. There's a little bit of um, your natural shine poking through. This is another full coverage foundation, holy grail of mine. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. It is fabulous. It's for a full coverage. And then for a lighter coverage is the Fenty Beauty one, and I really enjoy this one. It's not necessarily my favorite, but if I'm in a pinch and I am this color, then I will use this one. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I just like to paddle it on like this, and I'm using my mirror over here because it's hard. Whoops. Yes, I use a lot, whatever. So when I'm here, I do a stippling motion like this. I stipple it in and I am not matching my skin tone for my face. I am matching it for my neck. So if you think that it's a little too dark, just trust the process. I go in, I stipple it really well. And then I also like to bring it down my neck. Be real soft whenever you're doing it down your neck. You don't want to do you don't want to pull and you can even go up, but you don't want to have that line like you had in 1998 whenever you first started wearing makeup. See, flawless. I love it. Um, one thing I did want to talk about is if you do have redness, if you get a green color corrector and you dab it on there, I recommend using your fingers because it will help with warming up the product and placing it and dabbing it where you need it um, will help tremendously. Also, if you have a yellowy um, or even an apricot color to put under some purple, it will also um, take that away. My favorite concealers consist of the Kosas. This one is amazing. I put a lot of friends on this one. It is it gives you a nice hydration under your eyes without being too slippery and allows your uh, powder to stick very well to this. But my OG 
my ride or die, I will have this in my collection until the day is gone, is the e.l.f. camo concealer. It comes in a hydrating form and then it also comes in the matte finish. Of course, I love matte, but if you are a dry skin girl or under your eyes gets really dry, I would recommend using the um, the hydrating one. So all I do is I come under and I just do just like that. A lot of people wet their beauty blender, but I like to have it a little more stiff so that it doesn't hold the product. If you use a more um, creamier concealer, it's best to probably let it dry for a second on your face, give it about 30 seconds and then go in. So I like to highlight. That's my favorite thing to do is to highlight around my face. So I take a little bit and I dab it and I also go here and then at the top and down the bridge of my nose. Typically I have eye makeup on now, but I usually will use this as like a base. But as you can see, it's already getting brighter underneath. And I have to be really careful when I'm doing this to make sure any lines that I have, I'm tapping it out. So putting your eyes down, make that crazy face and go for it. Okay, tap around and I make sure my T-zone is covered. Now, you don't have to use as much as I do, but I like full coverage, just like I said. Um, and a lot of people can just do like one tap in either corner, which is totally fine. But the next step will make sense um, as to why I use so much um, powder. If you like a bright under eye like I do, before you get ready to set it with your powder, go back in really quickly, look up, and tap to make sure all of those lines are out um, because you do not want a creasy look. My favorite powder to set under the eyes is $3. It is called the Essence Brighten Up. And when I tell you this is my favorite, I have gone through probably 15 of these in my life. And I use these little powder puffs that are from Amazon and I just swirl it in and I look up and then I tap. And as you can tell, you know, there is a difference, but I haven't blended it yet. And it's okay, trust the process. Okay, I just, I like to press it into my skin. I will do it on my eyes well. And then I like to get my T-zone. And I know it looks a little crazy. You can kind of see it here, but it will work in just a minute, hang tight. Now, the next step is going to be powder. If you are dry skin, this is probably all you'll need to do. And then you can take a big fluffy brush and you can just buff your skin with whatever you have set your eyes with. I do recommend that if you have oily eyelids or it can get oily around your eyes to set with um, the powder as well. So when you look here, I'm gonna get ready to set my entire face. Now, I love the Lori Mercy, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, but an OG, and I know it's in your grandma's bathroom, is this Airspun, and it works just as well. But for today, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier, and I have a bigger puff. Turn it over, and I'm just gonna press it into my skin, like so. And don't forget about your neck. right here. Once I'm done, I like to marry everything together. Until it looks flawless. Now, the last step that I want to show you today is going to be bronzer and how you bring life back into your skin. There are so many good bronzers out there, and I truly believe that the drugstore ones work just as good as the high end. I love to use the Luminous Bronzing Powder. As you can tell, mine is well-loved. Um, but for today, I want to show you the difference between bronzing and contouring. Bronzing warms up your skin, and contouring sculpts out your cheeks and sculpts out anywhere that you want um, to enhance. So... Typically, when you bronze your face, you want to make sure that you have something that is in more of a warmer tone. I love this Tarte Park Avenue Princess, and I take a bigger brush for this. I always do this first and then go in and contour, but I swirl it around, 
Y'all know I love my bronzer. And then I always start here. And then I go up at the top and make a three and go down. And then I bring it down the side of my cheek. So as you can see, there is a big difference. This one already looks more sculpted and slimmer than the other side. So I'm going to go in and do the other side. And then do my three and sweep it and then down my neck, just like so. Okay, so you can already tell I like to have a warmer cheek in the middle and on the bottom, just like this. So then I will go in with a more cool toned um, bronzer, which is really a contour. And this one is called the Hotel Heiress by Tarte. And so I usually like to take it in the areas that hold a shadow. So as you can see, I have a natural shadow here and here. So I will just start from the back, chisel and down, chisel and down. And once again, if you want to go through and put it, I like to put it in my hairline just because I have a darker root. I go through and chisel it out. Some people like to contour their nose, just take a little bit, go down one side and down the other, just like so. And I will show you a really good compact that I love to take when I'm traveling, and it's called the Natural Face by Too Faced. It's amazing. It has your bronzers, highlighters, and blushes, which will be in our next segment. Um, and then I love the Cheek Leader Pink Squad Palette. It is one of the best um, bangs for your bucks with benefit. So I love the Hula Bronzer, and then you get all of these other um, different things that you guys can use. So yeah, that is all about the base. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will be linking some of the products down below. Have a good day.